Hi, this is Stephen from Own or Disso. In today's video, I am showcasing how 10 games perform on the 2021 HP Omen 15 that cost $1,700 from Best Buy. It has the i7-10758 CPU, a 100W RTX 3070, 16GB of RAM, a 512GB SSD and a 300Hz G-Sync panel, plus a mug switch. I do think it is very good value at $1,700, but I also have its Ryzen counterpart to test, so make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss out on that. I wanted to showcase the difference between the balanced and the performance modes, and also the effect of using Max versus Auto Fan. In Battlefield 5, for example, the CPU in balanced mode and Auto Fan can touch the low 90s, but generally stays in the low to mid 80s. Whilst using performance mode with an 18mV undervolt and Max Fan, it's about 5 degrees cooler. If you do performance mode with the auto fan, the CPU will go into the 90s in some titles. Now the difference in fan noise is quite large though. We're looking at 47 decibels with the auto fan and 55 decibels with the max fan. So I would suggest if fan noise does bother you, you know, play around with the custom fan control option. Performance mode definitely does push more watts to both the CPU and the GPU. So for higher frame rates, this is definitely the way to go. Now balanced is in yellow and performance is in red. In all of the games, I tested using max settings and also low settings to see what type of scaling we can get. Performance is about 10% faster than balanced. 100 FPS is about the performance you would see with a 2080 Max Q or a 105 watt RTX 3060. Dropping to low, does show some good scaling, so no CPU bottleneck here. Here is Cyberpunk 2077 using Ray Tracing Ultra and DLSS set to balanced. Performance mode sees 100 watts on the 3070 while still having 58 watts on the CPU. Balanced on the other hand drops the CPU to about 32 watts and one would think that a dynamic boost you know, would boost the 3070 up to about 100 watts, but that drops too and it's some 17 watts less than the performance mode. We see the same situation when we use low settings with no ray tracing at all. And indeed, with ray tracing ultra, there is an 18% difference, and at low, this drops to 13%. The 105 watt 3060 in the Gigabyte G5 got 55 FPS, so basically the same performance as you see here in balance mode. Since my testing is done in a dedicated GPU mode, I also wanted to see what the difference would be using the hybrid mode. Now we usually see a big impact with Optimus, particularly on Ryzen systems. Now what struck me is that according to Afterburner, the integrated GPU shown as GPU2 here was showing a 0% usage. So performance was actually very similar as if we were using the dedicated GPU mode. Performance mode does increase the watts like before, but doesn't yield any tangible benefits. And in fact, we only see a 5% gain this time. And at low settings, all is basically the same. The 105 watt RTX 3060 scored 55 FPS with Ray Tracing Ultra, so again, basically the same as using balance mode. I tested the same using Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and again, GPU 2 shows zero percentage usage. So it's like Optimus isn't actually working. And indeed, like before, there is no difference between hybrid mode and dedicated GPU mode. In this game, performance mode has little benefit either. So I do believe that HP needs to fix this using an update. Especially since in my battery life testing, I was only seeing 2 hours 15 minutes in dedicated GPU mode and only 30 minutes longer in hybrid mode. And during those battery tests, the CPU wattage uh, would be around about 10 to 12 watts, which is twice as what you would normally see. So here is Warzone using performance mode. At the top is uh, max settings, so we've got ray tracing enabled, but no DLSS and there's also no motion blur. And at the bottom is the lower settings. The biggest takeaway is that despite the 3070 using more watts, with the highest settings, the clock rate is generally lower than when we use the lower settings. Also, the 3070 is only being utilized about 60 to 70%, so it does look like the CPU is a limiting factor here. Consequently, there isn't much difference in frame rate. And in fact, we see a 5% gain with performance mode and a larger 19% gap with balance mode. There also isn't much of a difference between balance and performance modes here. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was tested using DX11 in arcade mode. The thermals are great and we are getting a great frame rate, especially in performance mode. 
We also see good scaling when we drop to low settings. Overwatch was tested using the replay feature and there is a nice improvement to uh, using performance mode. We still see a decent GPU utilization in balance mode even when only using about 80 watts. At epic settings, the difference is 16% but drops to 6% with low settings as the CPU becomes more of a factor. Red Dead Redemption 2 was tested using the inbuilt benchmark and we see excellent scaling between max and low settings, even with the GPU utilization being low with the lowest settings. In performance mode, we see a 49% increase and a 16% difference between performance and balance modes. Assassin's Creed Valhalla was also tested using the inbuilt benchmark. Balance mode uses about 5 to 10 watts less than performance, but there isn't a huge difference between them. 125 watt 3070 gets 77 fps, so that is only 7% faster. And 115 watt 2070 super gets 67 fps, so that is comparable to the balance mode. Finally, it's Far Cry New Dawn. This game does not like Dynamic Boost 2.0 and generally performs worse than its 2000 series counterparts. GPU utilization is low, even at older settings, and we get nowhere near the 100 watt boost. It's not a great game for the 3000 series cards. Hopefully Far Cry 6 will be better. So how would I sum up its performance? Well, balance mode performs like a 105 watt 3060 and performance mode is about 7 to 10% behind 125 watt 3070. So I think for $1,700, it's priced about right. An 80 watt 3080 laptop costs about $2,000. But if you can get a 3060 with at least 105 watts for $1,500 or less, I do think that is a good option. Now bear in mind, you also get G-Sync here. Now if you do want to reduce thermals and the fan noise, balance mode is a good option and the performance hit is only 10% on average. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for my Omen Ryzen coverage and I'll see you next time. Bye.